What is up YouTube? Today, before any of my drone people freak out and, and think that I've, I've gone crazy and I'm starting a bass guitar channel or something, don't freak out. Kit Kat's still here. We're just we're just gonna do like this unboxing thing talking about a bass guitar, so chill. But if you're like bass people and you've come to this channel and you've discovered, uh, hi, my name is Tack FPV. The FPV stands for first person view. And I like to fly these little drones around and, and break them and bash them around and have fun and do a little cool edits. So check out some of my other videos if you know if that's something you might like. It's a cool hobby. You might be something you want to get into, but today's video is all about that bass. So I, I, I put some stuff on like Facebook Marketplace for sale to try to fund this whole thing, and then you know I've been wanting to buy me a, another bass. Um, hold on a minute, let me show y'all right quick. A few years ago, I went into Guitar Center and I, w I was going in there to buy a bass, and and I'm stupid. Now let me let me just go ahead and say that I'm, I'm a drummer. I'm not a bass player, right? But I just kind of wanted a bass to like fool around on, and they had this six string Ibanez bass in there for like. $2.99 brand new you know cheap the geo series or whatever you know it's not that great you know i started getting serious about wanting to like play the bass a little bit more and i discovered that a six string bass is not a beginner's bass a lot of the, like extreme professionals play this or whatever but it's just it's a little bit for the like the slap and stuff like the the fifth string kind of gets in the way you know we won't get like too too bassy in this video right i did go and put some flat wound strings on here but they only had like a four string kit so like the fifth the B string is still uh, a round wound or whatever. So I've been messing around with this, but I really wanted a four string. So, but a buddy of mine, hold on. A buddy of mine that I work with, he gave me this, this BC Rich lookalike bass, right? You know, and it's got some like nasty strings on there, like blue and green. I don't know. I don't know. But like the action on this thing, the strings are like a mile off the bridge. And you gotta like, <laughs> this thing needs some work. Plus when you, when you plug it in right here, it's got like an extreme short in it that needs to be fixed right here. Yeah, so this thing needs some work and I'm gonna use this to practice like how to like set up a bass, you know, and like work on the frets and set the intonation and that kind of crap. So this is this was gonna be kind of like a learning process. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this bass up. So that led me to get in this unit right here this is the sterling by music man if if, so if any of y'all are familiar with guitar crap out there you know like the squire is like the fender version so the sterling is like you know the chinese look-alike version it's still you know by music man or whatever but anyway like i said i'm not a bass player if i if, if this was my main instrument i probably wouldn't have bought this but uh while i pull it out of the box here uh, I'll tell you a little reason why I bought this. I wanted, what I really wanted was the uh, Fender Jazz, the Squire Jazz. And I went up there and I played it and it's $400. And the, I didn't really like the, the way the neck feel. A lot of people, they like that neck or whatever. And the neck on it was, was polished. I mean, uh, like really shiny. The back of the neck, you know, where your hand slides up and down, it was like, I don't know. I don't know. The reviews that I watched on it, people was like, yeah, I had no trouble with, with it or whatever. Anyway, I played that bass. I went up there to buy it after playing it. I was like, I don't really like this bass, so. But I, this was my second choice. And then after playing it, uh, it, was, it became my favorite uh, because the the neck on this one is actually it's it's a satin finish. It's like a satin finish and it's smooth. Oh man, I liked it. Uh, so yeah, the reason why another reason why I wanted to get the Music Man because my my bass hero Joe Dart he plays the Music Man. He has his own signature bass, you know, where he's like got the double humbucker pickup and and. Uh, and I'll throw a picture up of his bass right here. But that thing's like $2,000. This one was uh, $2.99, I believe. Yeah. I can't even get it out of the phone. I'm getting there. Mm. So here she is right here. Get out of it. Ah. Yeah, look at that unit right there. Brand new. Out of the box. $2.99, not a bad deal. Really don't have a bass worth, uh, an amp worth of crap. To, so, but I'm just like working my way up here. Um, probably not going to play this unit for you guys 
if you're here to uh, learn something or see me play bass, it's probably not going to happen. But we're going to talk about this thing a little bit right quick. Yeah, I sure do. I like it. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Really don't have anything to say about it. Like, that was an unboxing and I just ripped it out of the box and rambled because I like to ramble a lot in my videos. It needs, needs a, a tune. I really like the flat wound string so I bought some new strings for it to put them on there. So yeah, I want to do that and uh, play it through my crappy amp that I got. Uh, my next purchase is going to be an amp before long. I do have, let me find somewhere to put this thing. I do have this this giant heart key cabinet right here. This 410 cabinet right here. I mean, this is thunderous. I bought this thing new like years ago and I was gonna like buy a head for it. You know, that was gonna be my, my next purchase and the head was like expensive, but I never did. I never bought the head, but I got this piece of crap crate amp back here that I upgraded the speaker in and it worked good for years, but I guess the, the amp is like finally like, I don't know, it's, it just sounds like crap now. So, you know, I thought maybe I'll buy a head for this, but I really, I really would like to have something portable that I could carry around. So I really want like a smaller amp. The, uh, the Fender Rumble 110 is like one that I'm looking at. But, so, you know, I can't really play it for you guys. And and, and you really got to get an idea how it sounds because I, I don't have an amp that that will really, you know, benefit any of that. And plus, I really can't play the bass. I just, uh, I just like fooling around on it when I'm bored and don't have anything to do. Uh, so, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video or comment down below if you want me to like... Uh, play it for y'all like in another video later i don't know might do that so anyway uh sorry to waste your time drawing people welcome to the channel bass people we might be doing some more bass stuff i don't know i don't know I just i'm just making a video because i'm excited about getting a bass and i wanted to share it with with you guys so uh bye see that bass sounds like shit. The, the amp sounds like garbage